PC Building Simulator is a pretty interesting game, where you take over a repair shop that one of your family members left to you, and build PCs, fix PCs, clear viruses off stuff because people have been looking at very naughty things. There are a lot of parts which I have real world counterparts, you can see there's like a, an NZXT cooler on top of that processor there, it's a Republic of Gamers case front, so there's a lot of stuff which is just in the real world. Which is pretty cool. So I'm going to start a new career here. Alright, here we are. Welcome to PC Building Simulator. Go to your PC by the doorway and open the email. So that's this one right here then. Oh, it is actually using my desktop background. That's, um... That's Yggdrasil from Dragon Quest XI. Alright, let's check our email then. Thanks for taking over the shop for me. Sorry it's not in a better state. Company isn't doing well. There's no money in the account. Rent and energy comes out monthly. I had a job on the go which should help with the rent, so we've got another email for that. Use thermal paste when putting in a CPU, I always forget. And he borrowed $15 for fuel, so that's why we've got negative money. Okay, so we have a virus scan here we can do. We get $100 for labour on that. Okay, so Uncle Tim has given us a prototype of the notes page. Okay, let's close our emails. We can select a range of wallpapers, so these are all, uh, I think, default Windows ones. And then there's a lot of, I guess, fake um, esports teams, and then fake games, like Fort Fight, Guild of Guardians, Heart of Stone. Now, we'll stick with it yourself for now. That's fine. So we have this PC here for a virus scan. Let's pick this up. And we, at the moment, only have one desk. But we can build more. And unfortunately, we can't get rid of the, uh, the ghosts of these, so now our office looks incredibly messy and incomplete. Oh, we do have decorations we can change, though. So we can make it all spooky, we can make it all festive. And it's got, uh, music specifically for it as well. What have we got here? There's a dinosaur? Let's just go back to default. Alright, so we need to scan this thing. So first things first, we need to put all the cables into the back of the PC. So let's just plug all this stuff in as well. For some reason you are required to plug in every peripheral uh, to boot the PC. Usually when I like do a first boot of a PC just to test that it works, I don't plug the mouse and keyboard in. Just because I want to see it boot to a uh, splash screen, so I know that everything's plugged in. Uh, but no, if you don't have your mouse and keyboard and you can't turn the PC on. Let's power this up. Oh, actually, while it's booting, I need to, um... And yes, that is very loud. I need to put this USB drive in. Because this is what we install our programs from, such as the virus scanner. And yes, it does comically get stuck at 90%. So let's just restart. Okay, we're back in. Oh, and the clock even reads the, um, actual time as well. Interesting. Let's run the virus scanner. 253 infected files, let's clean these up. It's much quicker than it is in real life, just to clarify. Let's rip all that stuff out. Drop it back there, I think I left my USB in there, but who gives a shit, they're like... A dime a dozen, those things. Back in my email, tell this guy his PC is ready to pick up, and we've got $100 for that. Alright, great. So we don't have any other jobs to do. Let's turn this PC off and turn the lights off. And if you are playing this yourself, remember to do that. Turn out the lights. Turn off your PC because you're charged overnight for electricity as well. Oh, can I write on the whiteboard? That's a shame. Let's look at my calendar. So yeah, we've got utility bill there. We've got $500 rent down the bottom here. I mean... I guess it's an okay size for $500 considering we're running a business out of it. It could be better. Definitely could be better. Oh, and one cool thing as well is you see we've got our PC down the bottom here. We can actually um, swap this out. So we can build a PC completely from scratch and swap out our work PC. So when I played this before, what I did was I rebuilt my own PC, the one that I'm currently playing on. And I used that as my work computer. So yeah, let's go out of the workshop, end the day. Now we can opt to skip the day, if we don't have anything to do, or if we're waiting for deliveries. Or we can go to work, which is probably what we want to be doing every day. So let's turn our light on, because apparently we're scared of vitamin D, there's... 
daylight out there, but we're not even gonna open the blinds or anything. Let's just get our work PC booted up, which takes quite a while, annoyingly. And we've got mail. Oh god, that's a lot of emails. Okay. Isn't running as well as it did, probably not been taking the best care of it, it looks a bit dirty. I was just about to say, yeah, probably a virus then. Like, I've done this kind of thing as a job before, and 9 times out of 10, when somebody says it's not quite working the way it used to or it's running really slowly, they've got a virus. More space on my computer, install a 500GB HDD. Yeah, we can do that, so we'll accept this, and we do need to remember to buy the components. So we can get them delivered next day, but we can't fit a hard drive into somebody's PC if we don't have a hard drive. You know what I mean? So let's go into the shop and take care of that now. So which was the one that they wanted? They wanted a Mortoni Easy Store 500 gigabyte or better. So we want to go into storage, Easy Store 500 gigabyte. Let's add that to my card. Broken graphics card, fried itself in Nvidia GTX 970, a Sheen one. Okay, we'll accept that, and we'll buy a Sheen 970. Uh, I guess I'll just get them the cheaper one, so they earn a bit more money off of that. Virus scan. Thank you for fixing my PC, it's booting faster than it had in years. And he's very happy that our uncle's gone away. Okay, so I think that's everything we can do today. Let's view our card, and we'll get delivery next day. You can get same day, very expensive. 3 to 5 working days is pretty cheap, next day is a bit more expensive, but I think for a quick turnaround, we're happy with a dollar delivery, considering how much stuff we just bought, we just got another email. Oh, my account's overdrawn. Whoops. So we have a free overdraft limit of a thousand, but of course once we finish all these, uh, all these jobs, we'll go straight back into the black. Alright, so here's our delivery. For some reason the delivery driver just lets himself into the workshop and drops my boxes here. So we have our 500 gig uh, HDD and our 970 Gamer Edition. Wow. Alright. Lights on, let's boot up our work PC just to check if we have any extra emails. We should probably do our admin stuff before the actual labor. Okay, so no, we just have the jobs we're currently running with. So... What do we want to do first? Alright, let's do the scan first just to get out of the way. Jesus Christ, this case is dusty. I figure we probably want to dust this off first, so let's use a bit of compressed air just on the outside case. Open case before cleaning. Okay, apparently we cannot clean the case itself. So we just gotta unscrew the uh, nice big screws on the back of the case here. I do really like these screws. Okay, that's looking a lot better inside. The, um, the PCI shields here are a bit dusty still though. There we go. So apparently that's everything cleaned off. You don't have to clean off the actual case itself. So let's just put um, PC parts. We'll put that side panel back in. Before we fiddle around with anything else. We do also have our USB we need to attach with our antivirus software on. So let's just drop that in. There we go. Power it up. Switch to the PC. Alright then, install the virus scanner again. Let's see if it gets stuck at 90% this time. Yep, of course it does. Alright, reboot done. Let's get this scanner up. Set that going. Once we get another desk, we can just leave these things scanning, or we can leave benchmarks going um, while we're working on a different PC. So let's just pick this back up and drop it on the end. I'll put the complete jobs on the end here so we know what we've done. Okay, so we've got an upgrade here. This will be an easy enough job. So we just want to remove the side panel here. So, are the drives underneath here? The PSU shroud. Let's just pull this out. Yeah, they are actually. Okay, so we want to open this drive bit. Oh, I have to open the other side of the case to get out the drives. Okay, so I can, I can put the PSU shroud on and not have to worry about that, I guess. Here we go. Let's pull these off. There we are. We can open the drive bay here, and we can just drop the um, storage. Drop that in there. And close the drive bay, and then we need to cable this thing up. In fact, I'm going to check the email. What did they say about cables? They didn't say anything about it. Sometimes they drop hints. Make it sound like they want specific types of cables. 
So let's just get that in onto the motherboard as well. That should be fine. So let's put the panel back on. I could try and boot the PC before I put the panel back on just to make sure it boots to OS so I don't have to take the back off again if it doesn't work, but it's fine. And there we go, we're in OS, so no problems with that hard drive, we'll just power it back off. And we can drop this by the door. There we are. So we need to fix the GPU in this one, right? Replace the graphics card and then make sure it can boot to OS. So the GPU, yeah, we just pull this side of the case off. This is a much more sensible PC case. Actually, is this the one I have down here? Oh, it is. Apart from I've got a clear side of mine. All right, so PSU wants to come out. So we have the, well, the PSU, the GPU. So we've got the lock on the side there, which is stopping me taking anything out of the PCIs. So we can just pop the graphics card out and install the new one. Where's the GPU's graphics cards? That one's broken. So we can sell it for $8 if we want to. We'll put that in there and we want to just put this lock back on just to hold it in place let's get the side panel back on again you generally want to do this after you make sure the pc can boot to os just just in case it doesn't work really save yourself the effort so yeah that's another one we can power down and just whack by the door so that's all of our jobs for today done so let's turn that in we got this one to turn in, and this one too. So we're doing pretty good on money now, actually. So we can discard these emails. That's everything done. PC off, all lights out. Nothing on the calendar. So yeah, let's just go home, and we'll get new jobs coming tomorrow. All right, I'm not even going to bother turning on the lights this time. Let's just use the PC. Emails. I borrowed my mum's brand new PC and then I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses. Okay, we can do that nice and easy. I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs lots of RAM, apparently. She needs 16 gigabytes and I've currently got 2 gigabyte and 4 RAM slots on my motherboard. Okay, so we have a parts budget of $140. Hmm, I'm sure we can get some cheap RAM that will fill that. So let's check memory. So they've got four slots and they want 16 gigabytes, so we can just get four gigabyte dims. So let's just filter by four. We'll sort by price ascending. So this is all the cheapest stuff we've got right here. I mean, I may as well get other ones with the heat spreaders on, if they're the same price, right? So we can get four of these for 170, which slightly goes over our uh, pods budget. Yeah, I'm not gonna do them dirty and get them mismatched RAM. That'd just be rude. So what have we got here? Not very good with computers, not working properly, very hot lately, running slower and slower. I can't hear the fan anymore. Okay. Budget of $10 for parts here, we need to replace the air cooler. We probably need to know which cooler it's using before we buy something. So it's using a Martoni Thermal 100, okay. I'm guessing they're cheap considering the parts budget. Uh, CPU cooling, Thermal 100, yeah. It's exactly the same price that they've had. Uh, Given us for a parts budget there. So we've got everything in transit, view our card, we'll get everything on next day delivery by now, and we're good for today. So we just come back tomorrow. All right, we've got actual jobs to do today, so let's flick the power on and see if we've got any new emails, actually. We'll probably get to the point where we're getting jobs uh, day after day, so we'll get new emails. Yeah, oh, here we go, see? So we've got jobs come in on the day that we had jobs previously. Um, you know what, I think I'm going to turn in all these other jobs so I can delete these emails before I look at this stuff just to keep my inbox clean. So this one needs fixing. Very dusty as well. So replace the air cooler and clean out the dust. Easy enough job. Of course, we're replacing a cooler, so don't forget thermal paste. And also, if you're replacing a cooler in real life, you're going to want to get some, um like rubbing alcohol or something, to get the thermal paste off of the cooler itself. So let's remove this cooler right now, so we'll unplug that there. Nope, not that. Whatever, I just pulled off another cable. We shall clean the PC before we put anything in it, just so we're not trapping dust anywhere. Okay, there we go. So we want to put in some thermal paste on top of the uh, CPU there. And yes, a pea size amount is enough. You get people doing these really weird spreading techniques, Seriously, just put a pea 
right in the middle of your processor on like the heat spreader there, and your cooler will spread it out itself. When you turn your PC on and your CPU gets warm, and the uh, paste gets a bit warmer, it will just spread out to fill your um, your heat spreader perfectly fine like this. Don't fuck up your CPU by trying to spread it around with like a card or something. The only thing you're doing there is risking making air bubbles, and of course that means that it will reduce the thermal efficiency. So, we want to install our CPU cooling. Oh, I didn't even pick up the parts from the door, did I? Of course, there's like this big collection of boxes there, so how did I miss that? Install the working uh, cooler there. So we do have the option to rotate it. I'm pretty sure it just goes in this way though. So we'll cable this in to here. Okay, and this time I am going to do it a bit more effectively, so we'll connect all this stuff. Like the cables here before I boot to OS, and then we'll just put the side panel on back after. We do want to make sure that this works, the cooler there, so... Yeah, that looks like spinning to me. And we're good. So yeah, we can power down. We'll put the uh, side panel back on. Generally as well, if I was doing this kind of repair, uh, something thermal based, I'd probably leave the PC running for a while, maybe I'd do a benchmark on it. Not so I could benchmark the PC, but just so I could get the PC heating up and check the thermal efficiency, so I'd run something like, uh, what's the one I've got on the PC at the moment? HW monitor, yeah, like hardware monitor, you'd run something like that just to check the thermals while you've got something intensive like a benchmark running. Okay, so here we just need to upgrade our RAM. Open the clips, we might as well just open all of these. Because we do of course need to install some new RAM. So, memory. We'll get these in. So your channels on your motherboard will be like paired, so it'll be 1, 2, 1, 2, where 1, 1 and 2, 2 are separate dual channel links. Oh well, it boots to OS, so let's just power that down. Again, you probably want to run something like a mem test if you just installed new RAM on a customer's PC. Just because it boots to OS doesn't necessarily mean that it works under load. And you should really do your due diligence. Like 5 minutes now, just to make sure the RAM holds up under load will save you, like, an hour's extra work talking to the customer, explaining why the fix that you performed didn't work, and... You know what I mean. Anyway, this one's just a standard virus scan, so let's get these cables in. Alright, in they go. Boot to OS. While that's booting, I'll get the USB in there with the antivirus on it. Let's just get that installed. Ah, the good old 90% freeze. I would have thought they'd have done like a, a couple different animations for that, but it seems like the install is the same animation every time. Okay, let's get scanning. Look at that, 395 infected files. Alright, well, that's that PC done. Just need to put it back in the delivery area. Alright, let's get our PC booted up. So we need to be level 3 and level 8 for the workbenches, level 6 for a PC storage cupboard. And we've got our inventory here, which is just like all of our parts that we've got. Oh, we can't actually sell this um, cooler for anything. We could sell that RAM for $7, the graphics card's $8. Okay, emails. Collect. That was very loud. So that's dealt with. We can discard that. Collect and discard. Collect and discard. Do I clean PCs? Sure I do. Rig needs an upgrade. Super sluggish, 8GB of memory, one too many dodgy sights, and plastic light grey cables look nice. Okay, so our only objective here is to upgrade to 8GB of RAM because that's what the customers asked for. But I did mention they just kind of allude to secondary objectives too. So they say they visited one too many dodgy sites, so we gotta do a virus scan as well. And the plastic light grey cables. So we do actually have an option of which cables we want to put into a PC. So if we use plastic light grey, then that means we'll get a bit extra money. So, we can accept that. New parts available, we've got Asus Radeon RX 560. We have Asus ROG Strix Radeon RX 560 OC Edition. And a Raijin Tech them Themis? Evo, okay. Oh, we just got a load more stuff here, so we've got a couple, another graphics card. And a bit of RAM. Let me think, did I get 
Anything. Ah, oh, yeah, I need to upgrade my RAM here, so PC stats, what's he currently running with? DFR motivator for gigabyte. We just buy one more of those, right? So, DFL motivator. Let's see if I can find the RAM he's currently using. Motivate 4GB, was it 2400? Make sure we match the speed, yeah 2400. So we'll just get one of those and get that on next day delivery. And we can get that turned around the next day. So I think I'll leave it there for today. I do actually have a lot of fun playing this game. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm enjoying this, so I'm going to play a bit more of it. We'll see how far I want to go with it. Probably not too far. I'll do like um, a few more levels, we'll get everything in the workshop built, maybe we'll go to level 10 and then I'll build like a the best PC I can with all the money I've got up to that point and then we'll call it there.